about time, kitty cats. Welcome back to our epic road trip. We have been parked in one place for almost four months. And as we planned, we had a chance to get to know it well but it's time to head home to Vermont. We are really looking forward to getting back to our off-grid home build. And we're also in a hurry because we're going to be trying to catch up with the total eclipse in Texas on our way back. So that's our hard deadline for the next few days. But first, we are on our way to Organ Pipe Cactus National Monument. Good morning. We're in Organ Pipe Cactus National Monument. We arrived pretty late yesterday. There wasn't much of the day left. We're staying in Twin Peaks Campground. It's got a lot of organ pipe cactus and saguaro and other plants. This part of the desert has a lot more vegetation than Kofa Refuge, where we just came from. We actually chose the site in the generator portion of the campground thinking that it might be hot by this time of year and we might need to run the AC for the cats. As it turns out, it is not hot and we do not need a generator. Fortunately, there's not too many people here and those that are here are not using their generators too often. These spots up at the front are for generators. These are for no generators. And these are tent sites in the back. One other thing to know before you come, there is not a lot of cell service in the monument, but we have AT&T and we found that we did have a signal where it mattered, which is in the Twin Peaks campground itself. So we're basically only exploring for one day, which means we don't have enough time to see the whole well, we could see the whole park if we wanted to stay in the car for the entire day, but we'd much rather explore on foot. So we are going to travel from our campground around this smaller loop. We'll find out how long it will take, but not more than two hours, I think, to drive it. We're going to hike at a trail called Bull Pasture. This trail promises views. I thought we would see views at the end of it, but there's actually views all the way along, which is pretty spectacular. We are going all the way to the end of the Bull Pasture Trail. It's a spur off of the main loop.
as promised by the sign. It's pretty steep, but I guess there are pretty good views at the top as a reward for the effort. This is an awesome hike. I'm glad we came up this spur. Mountains, green, desert. Mexico. <laughs> it is really beautiful. This is definitely a more biodiverse part of the Sonoran Desert. And the Sonoran Desert, a lot of it is in Mexico. And a few of the species of cactus, like the organ pipe cactus, that thrive in Mexico don't get very far north into Arizona because they can't tolerate freezes. So we are so glad we were able to make a stop here, even though we haven't been able to spend very long. We have experienced two sonic booms since we've been in the park. Those are from the giant Air Force base next door. They were a bit jarring and something you should probably be aware of before coming to visit. On the other hand, we are in a position to really appreciate some of the luxuries of civilization, like trash bins and dump stations, <laughs> things that we have not had in many months. Good morning. We are packing up to leave again already. And it's kind of bittersweet because we've had so little time to explore this beautiful place. But it really does give me an appreciation for how well we got to know Kofa Wildlife Refuge while we were there. There's a sign at the visitor center here at Oregon Pipe Monument. And it emphasizes that the desert gives up its secrets slowly and you have to have patience. And we have definitely learned that through our own experience. But if you do only have a couple of days to explore part of the Sonoran Desert, late March, early April would definitely be the time to do it. The weather is beautiful, the wildflowers are out, the birds are raising their young 